In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a banner template in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As we can see here, I have added an image onto this particular shapes and then I've added on the right side the detailed text along with the title and then one the learn more button here and at the bottom you can add the address mobile and the website details and you can add the company logo at the top. Likewise, I have created one more slide. Uh, with a different image you can see here so depending on your requirement you can just choose the image you want and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to change the background of the slide for that right mouse click go to format background and you can just choose any color of your choice you can see here i'm just using some uh, dark colors here then i'm going to add one rectangle and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size you can go to the shapes and then select the rectangle draw the rectangle as i said depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease shape outline make it no outline then align center align middle and i'm going to make it shape fill as white then i'm going to add few more shapes here so go to insert shapes and from the rectangles i'm going to select the rectangles rounded corner draw a rectangle maybe the smaller one and you can see a small orange point you just drag this inside so it becomes fully curved you can see here something like this again shape outline make it no outline if you want you can just reduce the width a little bit and then i'm just going to bend this you can see here i'm just bending this something like this all right and then i'm just going to place it here now likewise i'm just going to add four or five different uh, objects or with the same shape press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here giving a little bit gap here something like that or i can just place it here give a little bit gap between this okay and then you can go to the shape format and here you can just simply increase the size you can see here i can increase it like this okay now again i'm just going to select this press ctrl d bring it here reduce the size a little bit and i'm just going to place it here something like this again give the same gap and then i'm just going to add one more reducing the size further and then i'm just going to add it here doesn't matter even if it is going out also we can cut it later on so you can see here like this you can make some shapes or if you want you can just add one more also here so it's up to you whether you want to add or not so let it be four only then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these four first of all if you want to cut this one what you can do is go to insert shapes and select the rectangle draw the rectangle from this area you can see here and then select this shape hold the shift key select this rectangle merge shape i'm just subtracting here so something like this now the next thing is i would like to add an image here which i've downloaded from unsplash.com so how to do that first of all what you need to do is i'm going to select one by one all the shapes you can see here the four shapes by holding the shift key and then you need to group it press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one group and then what you need to do is you just need to go to the picture or texture fill you can see here because i have used in the past that's the reason it is showing here then you can just simply go to insert from a file and use any image which you have downloaded from the net or which is available on your local pc so here i have added a different image and then if you scroll it down here you can see the offset here uh, because i have changed here i'm going to make it all zero here you can see here it's all zero so the image looks something like this and if you want you can just remove this also then what happened here is now if you want to align it offset left right top or bottom so you can just with the help of you can see here i can just i want to increase it more and here also you can see here i want 
something like this so that you can just align it again same goes for the top and a bottom so once this is done what you can do the next is you can add the detailed text here or the options go to insert text and I'm just going to say this one as creative banner center align I'm going to choose the font Roboto or any font of your choice you can choose it and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease choose some nice color you can see here and then one more I'm saying that this is for the business I'm just typing it business and again center align choose any good font or good color whichever color which you feel maybe I'm going to choose maybe a blue only or maybe bold and again the font Roboto increase the size you can see here just put it here and then you can add some detailed text here equals LORM within brackets one and I don't want this much text let me just delete this center align I'm going to give some light color again this also Roboto and reduce the size here and you can just paste it here and below you can add like location website and all the different details for that you can go to insert and icons remember the icons available only in the new version of powerpoint like 2019 or office 365 and if you like to use the icons i have provided a complete list of icons on my channel you can just explore and download it there so let me just go to the icons here and i'm just going to choose the right icons so you can see here let me just go down scroll it down i would like to use maybe this one for this location for this is for the website and i would like to use kind of a mobile yes this one i believe this is okay and click insert and here i'm going to make the height and width as 0.2 only and color you can just make it somewhat lighter color here let me just zoom in this will come here for the location this will be for the okay so you can just go to insert again text box at your address here again i'm going to make it light color roboto and reduce the size to maybe eight and place next to this one you can see it looks something like this press ctrl d this is for the mobile so you can just type zero one any mobile number randomly i'm just typing the number right aligned it will be here and press ctrl d to duplicate and this will be your website so it looks something like this if you want you can just align it make it more down and then here you can add the logo of your company so i'm just typing it logo make it bold again roboto so so this is the the banner again if you want to do some animation something like that you can just simply add it